Ignatus, can you please tell the people if you would rather suck a homeless dude's toe yeah. or urinate all over your own DJ equipment? Huh, fuck off. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the interview with Ignatus. I won't waste any time, I'll get straight into it, but if you haven't watched part one, you should go back and watch that first before continuing in this one. Let's go. That was a really good answer to the last one. I'm glad, I'm glad that went on. Yeah, that was a fun um, conversation, man. Yeah, so th this one, um, what's, th this, this is a much more personal question. Yep. Uh, what is something that you've learned about yourself since you've started this this journey? Huh. I feel like I didn't really know myself at all before I started this journey. It, it really does feel like that. It's like mm -hmm. the things I know now, I never, ever thought about growing up until I was maybe 25, 26. You know, I was just kind of living, living life rather than experiencing life. Yeah. I was just, you know, I was just going day to day. And yeah. then as soon as I started music, it really made me stop and think about, because like as a DJ playing for like hundreds of people in a club, you have to think about what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. And that really made me feel like also then think about what I wanted after I was done with that. Like, what do I want to play? Or like, what do I want to make? Or what do I want to produce? What do I like? Yeah. And that kind of like sent me to down this journey of like self-reflection, like a lot more than I had ever thought about before. Yeah, you, and you I didn't gotta... expect... Sorry, sorry yeah. to cut you off. You sort of notice no, no, no. impact. You you sort of notice the impact of like energy and just like the vibes and just like shit yeah. around you, right? Like you, yeah. you just become more aware of stuff that's been around your life your whole your whole life. It's always yeah. been there, but now you're realizing, oh shit, like that's why I feel this way, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly right. Yeah, absolutely nailed it. It's just it was never I never had an awareness for anything, and it just kind of opened up as uh, with music and then you know like before i i used to be the guy there was a saying i don't know if it's true now anymore but it was one of those sayings that went around when we were kids that bill gates used to say he would hire um a smart lazy person over a hard-working stupid person and wow. like i really like took that to heart i was like i want to be a smart lazy person i want to be <laughs> at least a model <laughs> I'm trying to get employed by Bill yeah. Gates, yo. <laughs> no, it's not even that. I just wanted to be lazy because I like being lazy. I was like, I am smarter than other people. It was like an ego thing, you know? It was like, mm. I want to be lazy because I can cheat my way. Like, school wasn't hard. I didn't have to work that hard. Right, right, right. So, but with music, you can't, once you start producing music or making music, you can't do that. Like, there, there's, no, no, there's, no, there's no hacks. In yeah, music. there's no hacks. It's no. Like, I remember like three years in just realizing my years were changing and listening to different things. And I was like, that could have never happened in a month because you have to just spend the time listening to music. Exactly. So it, it was like, it taught, it taught me like the value of heart, like putting in the hours, the actual time. Yeah. There's yeah. no, right. there's no like cheat sheet. So like that kind of started leaking into other parts of my life where I was like, oh, I can't keep hacking everything. I need to actually put in the time for like things like that. Yeah, so it really I like helped. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. And I can relate to that too. Cause I'm sure, you know, as you said, like up until 24, 25 or whatever, you were just um, like living day to day, not really experiencing yeah. it. Right. I feel yeah. like, yeah, like for me as well, up before music, there was nothing else that I did like every day, like religiously. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah. the same thing as you. Like I'd never dedicated so much of my time or so much effort into anything to be able to get any sort of notable result. You know, yeah. so to finally be able to do that and then you do get a result, you're like, oh, shit. So, like, yeah. like I am yeah. actually getting somewhere, you know, like the, it's sort of just showing that, you know, hard work pays off. Whatever, you know, hard work looks like to you, you know, if, everyone has a different yeah. definition of that. But it's sort of, you know, a definition that, you know, if you do keep at it, you know, stay consistent, keep doing it. Yeah. The whole, you know, cliche practice makes definitely doesn't make perfect. But yeah. Practice definitely makes better. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely yeah um i i feel the same way man it's just it's crazy i'm i was i feel like i spent most of my early life just looking for hacks literally I, that's all i wanted to do was just wow. find an easier way than everybody else and that would make me feel smarter to do mm -hmm. something and it's just 
music is just like nah you need to sit down and like yeah, sit your ass down you don't know shit. humbled you <laughs> yeah absolutely i mean it's such a i remember the first time that happened where i went to bed thinking this is the best tune anyone's ever made in their whole life and then waking up in the morning and listening to the same thing and the experience how like it was day and night it was completely different it was completely dog shit in the morning oh man and that you you just you can't have an ego after you've experienced that there's yeah. no way to yeah, like, like oh shit just, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like you're drunk or anything like that completely sober but three hours of production will t- yeah. will get you there where you're like the song sounds amazing and then it sounds like dog shit like an hour later yeah and that just completely like gave me the I realization every, no. every musician yeah. definitely based <laughs> every single one yeah. yeah so then i start to notice my own bias like mm-hmm. i'm like oh that exists without whether i like it or not it's there yeah so yeah. then it, you know so that can like it just brings your ego right down it's pretty nice actually Dope. awesome yeah. right fantastic well that was um that was actually like the last question well that was the last real question i do i do okay another, i do have another question for you i mean arguably yep. this is the most important the most important <laughs> you'll get asked in this interview possibly oh, even right. the most, possibly even the most important question you'll ever get asked in your life you know okay so ignatus can you please tell the people if you would rather suck a homeless dude's toe yeah or urinate all over your own DJ equipment. Huh. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, urinate over my own DJ equipment. Wait, because really? It. Because you can handle it. Because you can handle it. Oh, it. <laughs> it's not water resistant, but I've put it through enough things to know it can handle it. So, you, you're, so what you're saying is you're pissed on your DJ equipment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, champagne is very similar to piss sometimes, isn't it? And then someone's dropped a whole bottle of champagne on my controller. Oh, still okay. Working. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. The okay. thing is, like, if you deal, if you've done with it enough, you know. So I would rather piss on. But okay, if you say, if I piss on my controller, it will ruin it. Then I'll suck the homeless guy's toe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, well, <laughs> yeah. I can't guarantee to ruin it. But I would like to think that if you did piss all over your yeah. equipment, <laughs> I would ruin it. I feel like it would. Pro- I mean, even if it doesn't break it, it's going to smell yeah. forever. <laughs> yeah, because you can't wash it. That's going to ruin it. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. yeah so like- look, I mean, I don't think. I mean, I thought you were going to say suck the homeless guy's dick. I feel like that. I would have. Thought <laughs> the toe no, is like that's, that's too the toe fun. is that's the little- toe is all right. The toe yeah, is yeah, all right. Look, I mean, yeah, if someone asked me, yeah. like. If they dip you like my, my hard drive, like my S, uh, like like my hard drive with all my music, or suck a dude's toe, yeah. bro, I would lick his toes clean, then fucking. <laughs> <his hands alive. laughs> like, I wouldn't. I think the fuck. Like, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. You're no, probably gonna this, have to cut this. No, part. fuck you. This is my interview. No. <laughs> oh, I know. But I was saying joking, you're gonna have to I'm cut joking. this out. You're gonna have to cut this out because this will not. That's be okay. Good. I might keep it in. It's okay. Just go. Okay. This this is this is my question for you. You either have to be in a human centipede with your family, oh, or or you or you lose the ability to ever write a song again. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> if I was ever in a human centipede with my family, yeah. I would already lose the ability to ever be out. Because <laughs> I think I would. Probably... <laughs> Dude, that's a great answer, man. <laughs> that's yeah, a great I answer. I think I'd be able to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect answer, bro. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> Damn. I wish I thought of that so I could have asked someone else. <laughs> there maybe maybe we'll swap places sometime you can do one of these yeah but yeah yeah but i think you have to cut that one out it's too inappropriate (laughs) no fuck it bro i don't give a fuck (laughs) (laughs) we'll see we'll see okay all right all right we'll move on to the to the last little bit of the interview and that is that is the abc challenge i know you've watched the interview with ben uh aka pressure k so you know what this challenge is. Um, I will time it again on my phone, but of Dread course exists. I won't know it exactly until post-edit. Yeah. I'll try to do it as well as I can. You've been sipping your tea, so have I. So I imagine 
Your okay. throat is all lubed no, up no. and ready to go. No, let me get a glass of water. Let me just. You gotta get it. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm competitive, bro. I can't lose at this. All right. Uh, so now that you're back and you've gotten some yeah. water and your throat is lubed. <laughs> 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 yep. You're ready for it the has been looped. You can you All can right. go whenever you're ready, and I will just I'll just start whenever you, whenever I, you you go. So okay, I need to do a practice first. I'm gonna do I'm gonna yeah. Okay, I'm gonna you do a can, practice first. You can do a practice yeah. first. And yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to those that are new here, the challenge is that he has to say the alphabet as quickly as he set, can from A to Z. So, <laughs> all right, let's go. I'm gonna practice A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Could you understand everything? Yeah, I could understand everything, and I sort of timed it, and it was it was fast. Like you, like How it was fast. Like you did that very. How fast? fast. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not going to tell what, you. Tell because me. No, that one doesn't count. Because you then we'll... No, why not? Then we'll just practice. take that event. No, 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 <laughs> no. What no, a no. bastard. Oh. You already said it to practice. You already, okay. you already said okay. it to practice. Fair, 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 okay, fair. So okay. Now you... Okay. okay. All right. I'm ready to start whenever you are, so go whenever you're ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, Z, K, L, M, N, P, G, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. That was very quick. Did you... Did you say every letter though? You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might legitimately have to slow that one down and post it. Cause <laughs> I'm going to, you, you said it like, it didn't sound like you mumbled. I feel like I just maybe. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm well, not sure. That was 2.3 seconds. That was 2.3 seconds. That was, the, was and Vince? for reference, pressure K's was huh. 2.54. That was his best. Yes. Case. So, so far you've gotten 2.3, but hey, hey, this is... Can I do it one more time? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You get you get two tries. Yeah. You get two tries for this. So, you got one more Just try. Just because if I if I get disqualified for the last one... Exactly, that's really what I was going to say. If, if the yeah. other one doesn't have all the letters, you will get yeah. disqualified. And then hopefully, you know, this one you get all of them pronounced at least, you know. So, even if it's a little bit slower, you got you got a little bit of space, actually, between your, your score and pressure case, so... It can be a little bit slow, but just make sure you're pronouncing all those letters. All right. Okay. I'm ready right. whenever you are. <clears throat> oh, wait. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, sheesh. Okay. So, yeah. Pressure K's time was 2.54 seconds. Yeah. And I, you know, with my human reaction time, you know, taking yeah. into account, you just got 2.6 on that second. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. So I'll 2. take 2.3 on the first one, but you might yeah. have, you know, you might have, you might have fumbled a Jumbled little bit on the first one. But even yeah. 2.6, though, that could be quicker than 2.54 on post edit. You know, like my, the reaction time and everything that does, yeah. that does play a part. Like with one of Pressure K's one, I did, yeah. I did get it wrong. Um, So... Yeah, well, Dude. anyways, that was a <laughs> little conclusion yeah. to our interview. Um, thank you so much for being here with us and thank you for doing that little challenge. Yeah, I, I love I love how serious <laughs> you took it. I love, I love the competitiveness. Yeah. Um, that's what we're looking for. We'll, see, we'll see how your scores hold up and post edit. it. Um, but yeah. again, thank you. Thank you for yeah, Thanks for time. having me, man. This was really, really fun. Thank you for having yeah, me, bro. Awesome. And then, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll talk again sometime soon. Yeah, um, for now, happen. yeah, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. All right, peace. Y'all can kiss that, but it's all too late. Don't take much to see all y'all fake. Was raised a good boy, but became a savage. Came in this world pure, now I understand it. Uh, came in this world pure, but now I understand it. Run the planet when we hunt the